this new building project really evolved initially with an idea to redo the learning center. Redo as in bring it up to the 21st century, kind of redo the interior space, almost a rehab. The learning center was built in 1992 and it was originally built for employees mainly. We've done classes over the years on a daily, weekly basis and we've gotten a lot of use out of it, but it really is quite dated now. That's like anything else. You start to look at your needs in one particular area. I think what we realized was that what we were embarking on wasn't just a uh, new wallpaper and a floor in the learning center. We were actually touching the heartbeat of the company. Through the design process, the scope of the project has, has grown a bit and, and sort of the the emphasis of the project has changed really to, to give an upgrade to the entire facility. The project when it was originally conceived was roughly a 5,000 square foot addition, two stories, and just a renovation of just the learning center. I think Chris and Kyle saw it as an opportunity to become much more than that and almost reinvent or reproject um, who Takeo is and where they're going in the new millennium and uh, it just evolved into much more than just a simple renovation and addition project. As buildings go from inspiration to reality, there are a number of value engineering opportunities. You know, and, and what it really is, is you're sort of boiling down the design to what is the essential story or stories that have to be told. It's the story that's based about Takeo, its products, its customers, its clients, its employees. Uh, but very important to, to the project uh, is the use of Takeo products. We're looking at uh, chilled beams, we're looking at passive uh, cooling, we're looking at radiant floor heating, where there's snow melt in the uh, perimeter uh, driveways and, and entries. The new features and benefits of the Learning Center, I can give you on a tiered level, because it really is almost a menu approach. First and foremost, it's the environment. Much uh, brighter, open air environment, natural light. But then you look around you and you have more than just walls. As I mentioned before, we have actual building envelope labs. So a window isn't just a window. A window is actually an experiment. So it's a living, breathing environment, uh, more than just four walls and, and a ceiling. It has its own sort of heartbeat. 